Carrie, and this is the first ever Pub Patio Playdate video blog post. I have been meaning to do this for a really long time. I used to play around with video quite a bit, but it's been a while, so this is long overdue. Anyway, what I'm going to talk about today is our family's foray into winter biking. So last year, I did all the daycare pickups and drop-offs. But this year our schedules have changed quite a bit and one of us has to do the pickup and one of us has to do the drop off. Now I take the car to work and my partner goes to work in the opposite direction and he bikes to work all winter long. So we had to figure out a way for him to bike with our daughter. Up until uh, just well a week ago when we got all the snow, we were using this seat here which is a toe peak bike seat. It goes on the back of the bike. Uh, I have nothing but amazing things to say about this seat. We absolutely love it. We've had so much fun with it. Uh, our daughter has done actually about 700 kilometers since April in this bike seat. She falls asleep in it. It's lasted really well. I expect we'll get another year, year and a half out of it. She can fit in it with her snowsuit. It's great. Uh, but as you can imagine, it does make the bike uh, a bit unsteady in the back, which could be problematic when you have ice and snow and, and frankly a bit dangerous. So we had to come up with another option. So we decided to try out a chariot, which is not something we've ever used before. We were a little nervous about it, but we did a bit of online research. Uh, we weren't looking to spend a lot of money since we just need it this year. Uh, so we went on Kijiji, we found one for a really great price, it's from Mountain Equipment Co-op, it's a single chariot. And what my partner did was he made quite a few modifications to it to prepare it for winter, uh, to prepare it for biking in winter when it's likely going to be dark because he usually does the pickups. So that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm just going to get him to show you what he's done and to talk a little bit about some of the challenges he's had this week and what he plans to, to do about them. So this is my partner. He's actually done a guest blog post before about winter biking and I'm going to get him to show you what he's done with this trailer chariot thingy here. So what kind of modifications did you did you do? Well like you said we picked this off of Kijiji uh, a few months ago and it's a, it's a summer chariot so uh, it's certainly not suited for our winter weather here in Ottawa but uh, I made a few modifications so that uh, hopefully we can travel from daycare back home and uh, not run into any problems. First thing I did was remove any unnecessary uh, gadgets or equipment from this thing so basically I removed the front fender and uh, bumper and the uh, rear fender so uh, also I remove the, the brakes on either side of the wheels. Once I did that, I took the wheels off and uh, surrounded the uh, fabric that may potentially leak in the winter with vapor barrier. So I laid it out on a big sheet and then cut out the edges and made it uh, nice and taut around. From there I tucked everything in with this uh, tuck tape. It's like uh, the greatest stuff ever. It's a contractor's dream and it sticks to anything and is waterproof. So all the seams and seals are all pretty much sealed up. This is a good spot here in the summer. The water will go right in here and this way uh, it's totally sealed. Other modifications uh, include uh, I've removed this kind of handlebar that comes with the uh, the chariot and replaced it with a PVC piping so that I can easily attach the uh, as many lights and reflectors that I wish. On the outside of the vapor barrier I've put uh, different kinds of tape, reflective tape, that you can pick up at any uh, hardware store or safety equipment store. And probably a good idea here is to attach some of the tape to the spoke so as the wheel turns it uh, creates kind of a larger reflection so the cars can see you. Uh, inside, over around here, I put a sort of sleeping bag kind of thing in here from the old stroller. It's nice and warm for the little one to sit in there and be nice and cozy. So that's pretty much it for modifications. And with all these modifications, can you still collapse it? 
Of course, yeah, it can uh, collapse for sure. It's a little bit thicker, uh, harder to collapse, but uh, that's because of the vapor barrier. Basically, it just pulls the same levers, collapses it down, and it fits in the car. So basically what we'll do is throw it in the car in the morning, and Carrie will drop it off, and uh, I'll bike to the little one's daycare, and attach to the bike, and off we go. What have been some of the challenges you've encountered this week? Challenges? Well, uh, well, we've had the snow. This is winter. We're in it and full in it. So uh, basically biking in the snow is a little bit challenging because some of the roads are clear and some of them aren't. Our main route to the daycare is pretty much uh, snowed in and hasn't been cleared very well by the, by the snow removal vehicles and uh, we'll have to find a new route. So something that is not too popular with the cars, but popular enough so that the city will keep it clear. Anything else? Uh, anything else? Well, uh, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, maybe 30 pounds of chariot and 30 pounds of little one and 30 pounds of her stuff. <laughs> so uh, basically you're running with a lot of weight. It's harder to get up hills, but it's also easier to get down hills. But are you enjoying your commute? Of course, as usual, if I'm on my bike, I'm enjoying my commute. And if I'm with the little one, it gets even better. She's, uh, she'll sing half the time and maybe nap half the time. And she's, she loves it. She's really looked forward to it. And I talked it up a little before it, the snow was coming. And it was the only thing she talked about. And what's your plan for this thing once winter's over? Well, I imagine it'll probably get beaten up throughout the winter, especially with the salt that, uh, that we get here in Ottawa. And uh, I think it'll probably be turned into some kind of a canoe carrier that we can uh, attach to the bike, or maybe even kind of pull it on our own, or I don't know, something useful anyway. I like the canoe idea.